Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here, and today we're gonna have a little bit of fun experimenting with ultraviolet light. Okay guys, so today we're gonna to be doing something kind of fun that I've wanted to do for quite a while and experiment with, and that is shooting footage of ultraviolet inks underwater under an ultraviolet light. So here I have a setup, I've gathered a few things and we're gonna be playing around here in the studio today. Again, this is just for fun, seeing what kind of cool effects I can get um, with the setup that I have here. So the first thing I have here obviously is this 10 gallon fish tank, uh, which I have filled the majority of the way with water. This is gonna be where we're gonna be injecting our inks and seeing as they interact and flow through the water, that look of kind of, you know, fluids going through, through water is, is pretty cool. Um, and I thought if we could make it glow, that'd be even cooler. Uh, so to do that, I have up here an LED ultraviolet uh, black light bar uh, that I picked up on Amazon. I'll have links to all the stuff that I use for this setup in the description down below. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. We're just having fun. Uh, but in case you want to recreate it with all the stuff I have here today, uh, you'll be able to do that using those links. So I have my bar up here on top and just for some safety, I've just mounted it to these two pieces of wood. It's just resting on top, but it was a little close to the edges. So I didn't want this tumbling into the water because obviously it is plugged into the wall. So safety first. Um, so I have that right there. And then I also picked up one of these. This is actually um, an ultraviolet uh, LED flashlight. So I may try using this a little bit and see if we can just have some, uh, you know, spotlights of ultraviolet light for the inks to pass through. Um, but we'll see. And plus, it's just kind of cool to have. And then, of course, the stars of today's show are going to be our ultraviolet inks. So I found on Amazon, again, um, some invisible inks. So they're ultraviolet inks that are actually made to be uh, added to inkjet printer cartridges so that you can print sort of invisible images or documents that would then show up under a black light. And I was able to get them this four pack and they come in different colors. So there's an ultraviolet white, which is gonna be like the glowing bright green that we're kind of used to. Um, there's a magenta, there's a cyan, and we also have a yellow. So I'm gonna be trying all of these four different colors and also letting them mix together and see what kind of effects we can get. In order to get the inks into the water, um, I could just go ahead and drop them, but I really wanted to do something to give them a little bit of force uh, and see how's they f how they flow through the water. So I picked up a kit of syringes also off of Amazon, um, and they came in various sizes and various tips, and I found uh, these to be the ones that I think are gonna be the best for us. Now, keep in mind, these are blunt tips, so those are the only ones you're gonna be able to order. You know, they're not for medical use or anything like that. Um, and the kit came with all sorts of uh, sizes of tips and sizes of syringes, but these are the ones I think we're gonna use. And I've labeled them for each of the colors so that I don't get them mixed up and contaminate our colors because all of these inks look exactly the same until you hit them with ultraviolet light. So I wanna be able to make sure I keep them clean. So I have done some testing already uh, to try and see if this project was even going to be possible and I got some pretty cool results. So I'm really hoping that we get some awesome stuff when we do this today. One of the things I noticed in my testing is that it was really difficult for me to set my focus properly. Um, because I'm shooting in a tank, you know, it's a three dimensional space. I needed to have some sort of object in there where I was gonna squirt the inks so that I could make sure I'm in focus. So what I did was I actually made myself this little sub, uh, submergible focus target, if you will. Um, it's just a, uh, a piece of uh, acrylic here that my wife had lying around, and I got one of these little uh, table number holders off of Amazon, and this guy will go right into the water. It's weighted down, and it'll stand there so I can focus on that plane where the focus target is remove it and try and inject my inks on that same plane in the tank and hopefully I should be in focus. 
So one of the other challenges in this endeavor today is going to be that I am going to have to drain this tank completely after each test, each attempt, uh, in order to get all of the ink out of there, get fresh water in, um, and do the next thing. So this is going to be a lot of work, but I think it's going to be worth it. So now that we have all of our stuff sort of laid out and ready to go, it's time to get the studio uh, ready for ultraviolet filming. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay guys, so I've got the tank all set up. We've got our dyes and our syringes on standby here. I just wanted to show you real quick the camera that we're gonna be using to shoot today. So this is my Ursa Mini 4.6K. I'm gonna be shooting in 1080p, uh, which is gonna allow me to do 120 frames per second and also to window in on the sensor so I can get uh, a little bit closer. Um, I have a 70 to 200 from Tamron on here. Since I'm gonna be shooting this on my own and I'm gonna be over there, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. So I have a feed running to my, uh, my big TV here. So I will be able to stand back here. I will be able to inject the dyes into the tank and should be able to see on the television exactly what I'm doing and hopefully uh, get my framing right. So. Let's go ahead, let's get all the rest of these lights shut off and uh, let's start shooting some ultraviolet. Okay guys, it is now a few days later. Uh, this was quite a time consuming process, so I spaced it out over a few days but I am done shooting and I think I'm pretty happy with what I was able to capture. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So there you go guys, that is the result of a few days of labor, a fish tank, a couple 
hundred gallons of water gone through, some ultraviolet inks, and a UV light bar. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give this video a like down there, and please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe so you can be notified every time I have a video coming out on the channel. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one for our next project.